One thing is happening on top of another. One catastrophe on top of another in a lot of people's lives at the moment. And I think this is reflecting the great global catastrophe we all seem to be experiencing at the moment. All of the things that we normally use for happier living, such as doing things for others and connecting with people and learning new things, finding ways to bounce back, looking for what's good, all of them are really difficult at the moment because you're hardly able to do the things you need to do to get through the day. It's like there's no time. But if you're in the middle of a crisis and finding that it's full on, try and find the calmness underneath. If you look over a bridge, the water can be sometimes calm and sometimes stormy. And this is both okay. But the storms don't last forever and the calmness, which is actually there underneath, comes back to the surface. In the meantime, when you're in these crises, just take care of yourself. And this can be something as simple as having a shower, fluffy towel, warm bathroom, beautiful candles, coloured lights, something to take you out of the mundane, something to take you out of the ordinary. A lot of people have health crises at the minute and they're worrying about those as well. And with COVID, it's really difficult to get any health crisis sorted at the moment. So we have to be extra resilient. Take care of your mental health as much as you can by having a little goal to look forward to or a simple little trip out once a week or once a day, something that is something to look forward to, something that takes you out of yourself, out of your body, out of your mind and more importantly, out of your house. Look for what's good in your surroundings. And most of all, be really comfortable with who you are right now, whether you're sick or well, whether you're waiting on an operation or worrying about an operation, whether you're recovering from illness, be comfortable with who you are because you are actually part of something bigger. And the fact that you're part of something bigger is one of the reasons why we're reflecting all of this chaos in the world at the moment because we are part of the world. So the chaos is coming right in through our door. Connect with people and tell them how you feel. And you'll realise that they are probably feeling similar. It may not be easy to help others at the moment because we're all trying to get through the day. But if you can, make some time to do things for others. Connect with your friends and family. Giving, relating, exercising, awareness, trying out, direction, resilience, emotions and acceptance and meaning are all the keys to happier living. It's not easy, but we will cross the bridge to better days.